guys welcome back to our channel today I'm going to be showing you how I created this updo on Jayla um, I really did not know how I wanted to do her hair but I knew that I wanted it up and out of the way so this is what I came up with um, this style consists of connecting ponytails and two strand twists that are pinned into a bun so I'm starting on freshly washed and blow dried hair I've already parted her hair into three sections as you can see here um, in that back section, I'm just parting it straight down the middle for a total of four sections. For this hairstyle, I'll be using a new product. I typically use a jam or a gel for these types of styles, but today I'm only going to be using an edge control. Here we have first and second touchdown edge tamers. Um, they actually have six different edge tamers in store, but I only have five here. Um, the second touchdown edge tamers have a lighter hold. And the first touchdown edge tamers have the stronger hold claim on the last between 18 and 24 hours. Every single one of these products smell amazing. Each one has its own smell. And it was really hard to pick which one just because they all smell so good. But I ended up going with the orange jar. And this product claims to last up to 24 hours. So for each ponytail, I add the edge tamer and brush it in with my edge brush. Then I take the rubber band and secure it, making sure that it's not too tight. Before connecting the ponytails to the next row, I add a little bit more to the hair. I add a little bit more of the edge tamer to the hair and kind of twist it down. This just prevents the hair from swelling and keeps the frizz at bay. But once that's done, I connect it to the part above this ponytail on the opposite side. The edge tamer that I'm using is called the Ultimate Touch. And as you can see, it is holding her hair in place while providing moisture and shine as well. Um, I was hoping that it would not make her hair hard and crunchy, but no, it was perfect. I just repeat this process all the way up to the third row. I just continue to add the edge tamer to the hair, twisting it down to keep the hair from swelling, and then I add the hair to the ponytails on the opposite side. With the hair that's left over, I spray a little bit of water on it. I add a curl cream. I split the hair in half and add two twists to each side. And once that's done, this is what you would have. Once I get to the top, I add another section directly in the center of her head. I make four more connecting ponytails, but these are going straight back. I'm adding the edge tamer and brushing it in. I'm just adding it to the parting area, just trying to make sure that everything is sleek and slick down. And I'm making sure that the ponytails are not too tight. Once these are finished, I split the hair into two and added two twists here as well. With the hair left over on the sides, I just parted it into two sections. I added a generous amount of the edge tamer and brushed it in really well. And then I proceeded to just roll the hair in an upward motion. Um, I would recommend that you not do this just because it doesn't last as long. And I ended up having to take those two down and put braids in it after a couple days. So for the longevity of the style, skip the rolling part and just add two cone rolls or braids here. And then once you add your rubber bands, connect the two pieces of hair into a twist and do the same thing on the other side. Once all that's done, the hair should look like this. And I just gathered all the hair into a ponytail and I took a couple of bobby pins and pinned it into a bun. You don't have to pin it into a bun. I think it looks really cute just hanging down. She wore the bun to church and then to school. She just wore it into a regular ponytail for the rest of the week. 
Um, but yeah, I really loved how this style turned out. She looks so cute. If you're interested in the first and second touchdown edge tamers, they are available at your local beauty supply store. I will have a link to their Instagram page down in the description box. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to our channel if you have not already. And we'll see you guys in our next video.